Hey everybody, this is B Sports. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 2017 Lund 1600 Fury. This one's obviously in blue. Boat 16 foot 2 inches long, has a 73 and a half inch beam. This one happens to have a 25 horse Merc 4 stroke on it. You can put up to a 40 horse on these boats. So we'll kind of take a look around the outside of the boat and the trailer here. So this one does have a galvanized trailer on it. Shorelander uses all non-marking non bow rollers on, uh, on all of their trailers, which helps especially in boats like this where the bottom is just kind of bare aluminum. You don't get any black marks on the boat or anything like that. So we'll kind of take a look here at the floor plan and then we'll hop up in there and open some of the storage compartments for you. So you'll notice obviously you have three seat bases uh, with this boat, one up here in front, one in the center here, and then the back one is obviously the driver's seat. Um, and we don't mount that seat until the customer buys the boat and tells us where they want it and how they want it oriented. So that's why that seat's just sitting there like that. All right, so we'll hop up in here and we'll kind of open everything up and show you. Kind of looking at the front here, you have that, that storage compartment inside the front there. Works good for anchors and ropes, that kind of thing. Then to either side of the seat base, you have a storage area that's then broken up into two separate areas. The back one, you have your, uh, your tray for your trolling motor battery. And in the front, just kind of a general storage area. They do pass under the center section here and go over to this side. So you can put some larger items in there if you need to. Kind of moving back here, uh, we'll open this up. This is going to be your live well, pretty sizable for a boat this size. And then uh, here on either side, you're going to have rod storage. So a snap lid, we have the ridge to set the, uh, the ends of the reels and plenty of room for, uh, for all the rods you need. And then as well, you're going to have the same thing over here on the other side. So in the back here, you're going to obviously have your fuel, and then we'll move the seat here. So you notice right here, you have your switch panel for your navigation lights and your anchor light, the aerator for the live well, as well as your bilge pump. And you'll notice that the fuses for all three of those functions are under. Uh, under each switch so it's easy to locate and fix if you need to and then back under here we'll open this up you've got a little hider here um, for your crank battery and then you can put your fuel can back in there that way it's not out here in the main part of the boat okay so pretty quick and easy and uh, on this boat not too much to go through but a great boat for the uh, for the price point so again this is the 2017 Lund 1600 Fury and this is a tiller if you have any other questions you can give us a call at 1-800-233-7720 or visit our website at www.bees-sports.com thanks a lot everybody